will have the wind at his back to start things here, and it'll be Middle Tennessee getting the ball first. High end over end book. A boot will go over the head of Ty Lee. He'll watch it go through the end zone. It's a touchback, and Brent Stockstill and company will get the start, Andy, from the 25. And Fern has provided a spark for the Blue Raiders. Give him six yards on the first down pass and catch, and it's second and four, and coming back the other way, it's Stockstill to Lee, who spins out of one tackle and gets near first down yardage before getting tackled by Old Dominion's Pat Toll. Other side there, and you don't want to hold it too long. He in the eight and a half sacks. Here's Stockstill pumping once, and he's going to go down, courtesy of O'Shane Zimenez, and we've got a flag flying in from the near side. Tucky, 95 yards in penalties. Four wide receivers, four stocks still claps, and he's looking to the far side, now to the near side. A little dump pass, gets it to West, near side across, inside the 40, the 35, finally brought down at the Old Dominion 33-yard line. This is the first drive of the afternoon. Stock still straight drop back this time. Steps up in the pocket, and that pass is batted. It'll be incomplete and a fourth down decision for Rick Stockstill. Here. He's got it. Looking to unload it. Over the middle. Has a man pass. Is going to be oh. tipped to himself. What a play there by Patrick Smith, the redshirt senior. Goal, they call it the two-yard line. Stock still rolling near side, looking, looking, throws it over late, and that's going to be tipped out of bounds. Intended for Smith, but late defensive recovery there from Old Dominion's freshman Justin Richardson. Lot on the near side. Smith and Lee to the far side, and they send West, and he's looking, looking, still looking. He's going to go down at the 14-yard line. What a play from Tim Ward, who's Holt, who's three for six. In field goals, the ball is down, and the kick is up, and this kick is good. This, their initial drive of the game after middle went 16 plays to a field goal. Here's Larusa back to throw once again. Has a man, that's Keon White, and he's going to be well short of the first down. Gang tackled at the 27. It'll be three and out for Old Dominion. Even attempt one, except for Stein still went, went for minus three. And here's West off left tackle across the 30, and he's got plenty of room down the near sideline. Will anybody be able to catch him? The answer will be no. He will go 71 yards for a touchdown. One play drive for seven after the first drive went 16 for three. MTSU out in front. Render ready to play some defensive line for the Blue Raiders, and here's Strong looking for a first down, puts the head down, dives toward what might be the Monarchs' first first down of the day, and they have it, and that'll move the chain. Second down and 10 for Old Dominion, ball on their own 30-yard line. Heading toward the four-minute mark of the first quarter. There's a pass to Harper, makes the first man miss, heads to the far side, and has a first down out across the 40. Moving around a little bit, making his presence felt. He's got four sacks this year. LaRusso steps up in the pocket, and he's going to go down. First sack of the day for Middle Tennessee. Well, they finally got the man-on-man look they wanted. Afternoon. Here's a handoff to Strong, and Strong gets past the first wave and can't get out of the arms of that Blue Raider tackler. Fourth and 24 play from ODU's 26-yard line. B.R. Hatcher is the true freshman snapper. And Kate evades the rush once, twice, running for his life, and he fumbles the football, and it's gathered in in Middle Tennessee with Cordell Hudson is going to the far side, and Hudson is going to be brought down at the six-yard line. It looked like he was trying to actually lateral that. It went forward. There he is looking far side, throws the ball, comeback route is going to be caught right at the one-yard line, and that's going to be Salter. Freshman corner, but that's just an outstanding ball and an outstanding grab, too. That's a pretty good catch. First and goal, and here comes a touchdown for Middle Tennessee. That is Chayton Mobley, and the lead has grown to 16. LaRusa barking instructions. Wide receivers to each side, couple of tight ends on a second and nine play. Straight drop back, looking near side, and that's Travis Fulgham. He makes the catch at the 35. Fulgham down the near side. He is going to score a touchdown, Old Dominion. And I said earlier, if they're going to bring the blitz, you're going to play with fire. And you got these two guys on the outside. The, the weird punt. They would have punched it in there on the ground as well. 70 yards on the ground now. Stock still again goes to the short pass. The game wide open on the far side. A pass that's good for 10 yards. You know, take advantage of the big cushion. Under 15 seconds to play in the first. And Stock still has a man wide open. Smith over the middle and he's to midfield. Same thing. They got to respect the run. So the eye discipline is not good for the Monarchs. Four yards for the Monarchs. 
and 14 plays. Second down and one. Open the playbook. Hand the ball off to West. He went 71 earlier today. There he's brought down by Carter on the far side. Spot of sunshine on this Saturday in Norfolk. And again, you hand it off, and Mobley's got a first down before being brought down by Carter at the 24-yard line. But will the Monarchs stop him for the first time this afternoon? Stock still comes near side, has the pass completed to 32, and immediately brought down. That's a solid play defensively from Prince Ejegwu. This will be a 48-yard field goal attempt. Snaps a little high, put down, and this kick is going to be short. Larusa hands the ball off. This is Keyshawn Strong, spun down near first down yardage. And they're going to give it to him. Will Knight, true freshman on the running back for Old Dominion. A third down and two play. Play action tonight. Pass to Fulgham. Caught for the first down at the 46. And again, the receptions are being made. Quickly brought down, though. O.J. Johnson prevented anything. Any yak on that play. Again, Knight in at running back. Delaware's all-time leading high school rusher. LaRusso steps up in the pocket, dumps it off to Will Knight, uses the straight arm inside the 40, 35, 30. Will Knight making people miss inside the 15 to the 10-yard line. Again, he was looking deep. It's going to be interesting here. See what LaRusso does. Takes the handoff, guns it backside, incomplete for Duhart. And breaking it up is Xavier, du excuse me, that's uh, Cordell Hudson. 24-yard field goal attempt from Nick Rice to bring the Monarchs to within seven. Bailey Kate, the holder, the kick is up, and that field goal is good. And Rice has made his last seven field goal attempt. Smith in motion to the far side. The clap of the hands, the snap. Stockstill goes to the inside screen, has a man. That's Lee, his first catch, and he's off to the races. Far side, out to midfield. First and ten now from the Blue Raider 49-yard line. There's a handoff to West. He's found plenty of room on that left side, and he does again inside the 40. And a flag comes in late. Brent Stockstill, who's got four wide receivers ready to go out in the pattern. They'll go there, and the pass is quickly complete to the far side with blockers in front of him. Down inside the 15. See where they mark him out. Been unsung hero for him. He got two guys blocked on that play. First and 10 from the 10. First and goal. Stock still looking for it all, and that's going to be a penalty right there. Yeah, that's an easy call against JoJo Heaton. And goal. Stock still under center. Watch the sneak here. Breaking news. No shotgun. He'll keep it. He'll try and go off right guard. He keeps the leg driving, and he's going to be in for a score. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Second effort, because they, they sort of stoned him at first, and then he found a little seam to the right, extended through. One of three wide receivers to the near side. Drag pattern over the middle doesn't work, but the pass to Fulgham will. He's wide open at midfield. Travis Fulgham to the far side, 45, 40, 35, pushed out of bounds finally. Deep inside Middle Tennessee territory at the 32, and another flag's going to be flying as they pushed him once he was out of bounds. This will end up being inside the 20. Throw to Duhart on the top. Hendrick, Harper, Anthony on the near side. Play action pass. Jumping away from the rush. Here comes LaRusa. LaRusa spins inside. Fumbles the football. Picked up by Middle Tennessee and dropped after grabbing the ball is Khalil Brooks. Oh, Johnny on the spot is... Khalil Brooks as LaRusso was trying to get the extra yards. You've got to get a first down because you don't want to give them a chance. Hand the ball off west and he'll go down at the 19 yard line. That'll be well short of the first down and the clock will go to 50 seconds. An opportunity for ODU. One they missed last time down because of the fumble. Here's LaRusso stepping up in the pocket. Nobody's open quite yet. Pointing out coverages. Going deep. Has a man that's Fulgham. Makes the catch at the nine. Travis Fulgham inside the five, right at the five yard line. First and goal. Go ahead, have a day, Travis Fulgham. Well, if you're Middle Tennessee, watch out for the big number seven and number nine. LaRusso throws it. Fade pattern toward. Fulgham, and that's incomplete, and a flag will fly. Second and goal from the two, but you better get in there with 18 seconds exactly, to go. Though. That's the downside of that. Here we go. Play action pass. LaRusa guns it. It's tipped, intercepted in the end zone, and here comes MTSU. This is Blankenship. Blankenship across the 30-yard line, still on his feet, has some room, and he's going to go. Reed Blankenship turns a monarch touchdown all the way around 180 degrees touchdown middle tennessee 
They had him about three times and tried to pull the ball out of his arms, and he held on to it. Blake looks near side, tries to figure out the coverage, goes far side. All right, here he is, back to throw. Steps up in the pocket, has some room, throws the ball to Fulgham. First down at the 44-yard line. Good coverage right there. Patient at home. Second down and nine from the middle Tennessee 40. Larusa looking near side, has a man open. It's tip. Fulgham still makes the catch at the 25. Oh, my, Ooh. says Wesley Bush. I had a couple of hands on it, but he couldn't come up away on backwards. Last couple of plays as the MT. TSU defense is stepping up. First drive of the third quarter. Guns it high. Caught by Fulgham. It's short of the first down, and he's hammered at the 18-yard line. Down and two for the Monarchs from the Blue Raiders 16-yard line. Four minutes into the third quarter. Looping pass far side for Fulgham, and it's out of bounds and completes. And 10 for Brent Stockstill and Middle Tennessee. He's been accurate and effective, and here he's incomplete going for Casey on the far side. And 11 from the MTSU 30. Here's Stock still looking near side, throwing far, has a man. Casey has it, and he is gone. 70-yard touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Down the sidelines for the big H back, and the safety was late coming over the top. I don't know if it was blown coverage or not, but the safety was late, and then is an absolute dime. McClooney. This is Knight again looking for first down yardage. He'll get it at the 35. First and 10 from the 35. LaRusa play action pass, and he is swallowed up by Blankenship at the 31 yard line. Need the 45 to keep the drive going here in the third. LaRusa, a looping pass near side, is going to be picked off. Cordell Hudson's from midfield. And the ball off to West, off left guard. He's found Hay all day, and he's down to the 40 with another fresh set of downs for the Blue Raiders. Three down linemen for Oldman in, and Pooh coming in. Here's a pass to Lee, who's been quiet today, one of the few quiet Blue Raiders. But here he's not quiet, cutting to the middle of the field. He's got some open ocean there, and he's going to score far side. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee, Ty Lee. And hey, it's one on one on the outside, Ty Lee, and he's got a freshman safety on him in Richardson. And and he just made a, he made a pretty good move on him. The score holds up. They'll go to two and seven and one and five in the league. Middle Tennessee hoping to be five and three and four and one at the end of this day. There's a burst through the hole for Keyshawn Strong and Keyshawn Strong. Blankenship trying to chase him down. The tackle made and the fumble is at the goal line yeah, he and down. he was down. It'll be first and goal, Old Dominion. Monarchs first and goal from the five yard line. Can they get in this time in the red zone? It's been a problem all afternoon. Larusa near side to Duhart. Pass, touchdown, Old Dominion. Larusa to Jonathan Duhart. That's what they were trying to do the last time they were down there, throwing it up like that. Part of their rushing game. Moffat as well. Hey, yeah, Moffat. We haven't seen him in two weeks now. Third and nine. Stock still with O'Shane Zimenez crashing down, gets the screen pass off to West, who gets out to the 35-yard line right near the first down stake. I think he'll have it. Oh, West, 71 yards. It was 10-0 before fans got in their seats. Here's Stock still handing it off to West. Again, a gaping hole, and he's going to go 10 yards and maybe 11 out to the 46-yard line. Third down and one, under center again. Brent Stock still. Play action pass, you flip the reverse, and it's going to be another big gainer for Middle Tennessee. Down the far side, inside the 20. A lot of open water for Zach Dobson. Third and eight from the Old Dominion 16. Headed toward the band in the student section to our left. Stock still quick throw. It's caught by West, who jitterbugs his way inside the 15 to the 14. It'll be fourth down from there. Locked down to five. Fourth down and six. The throw. To the corner of the end zone, up and uh, he got it. Did he catch it? He no, incomplete. No, he did. Boykin held. Boykin held on for his first collegiate interception. Interception return for fumble, couple of tackles. Mm -hmm. Great tackle on Strong, preventing that touchdown, at least delaying it. There's Larusa catch caught by Fulgan in traffic at the 21, 31. Well, first excuse down. Me. Catches. That's going to put him close to 200 yards after that one. Larusa again. To the far side, Fulgham goes up, makes another catch in Middle Tennessee territory. It's really inspired them in their play. It's inspired a lot of scouts. Crossing pattern right here to Harper. Harper leaps over a prospective tackler and down to the 27 goes the senior from Chesapeake. Down with it. Here's a 
handoff, and this is Strong coming near side, inside the 10. There's 12 again for the East. Monarchs had a lead on the Panthers here. Two and a half hour halftime. There's a fumble inside the red zone, and it looks like that's going to be another turnover for Old Dominion. Still surprised that uh, Stock's still, still in there. Ain't no sign of Asher O'Hara yet. There's a pitch to West, and West is going to cut it back and get a first down, and gathered upon does the defense on him, and he's across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Tyson has been injured. Here's another handoff, looking for some open running room is Mobley, and he has it for a first down to the 31. See who steps in his very large shoes in Murfreesboro. Cunningham just wants to keep the clock going, so he hands it off to Thomas, and Thomas has a first down across the 45 to the 48. Turning point of this game, an interception in the end zone by Reed Blankenship that he returned 100 yards for a touchdown as time expired in the first half. There's Thomas again. Won't get much on that one. It'll be third down. And flags are going everywhere. And the gang from Middle Tennessee had the Sherpas and all that stuff guide them up the steps <laughs> here at Foreman Field. And they made it, of course. And there's a, another run up the middle down to the 31-yard line. So it's it's rather loud, if you will. And here's the handoff to Thomas, who dives to the 30-yard line. That'll be short, and the Monarch offense will take over. After this loss, there is going to be no bowl game here. Correct. Monarchs will drop from bowl consideration. There's a pick six. That late Second throw. of the day. Late throw. Over the middle, and that's when bad things happen for offense. Leslie Bush had a big pick against Charlotte, and here he goes to the house, and it's 51-17. He's got himself a second and four right now, and he'll hand the ball off to Geiger, who's got a first down off left tackle inside the 20. He goes dragging tacklers with him to the 17. Very north and south runner is Geiger. Good blocking up front there for him that time. Oh, yeah, it's a pride thing now. No doubt. I get a lot of time in these situations. <laughs> There's Geiger again up the middle, and he's inside the five, and he's reaching, but he's caught about a half yard away from home. Seven seconds, six, five. Arnold hands it to Geiger. He's going to get stopped, and that is the exclamation point for a Middle Tennessee blowout victory here in Norfolk.